All right, we got a 2011 Ford Explorer. I'm going to be showing you how to replace this multi-switch, the seat switch over here on the driver's side. Uh, basically, it uh, will go back, but it won't go forward, and that's a good indicator that it's the switch itself. You know, you could still, re you know, replace the switch and have a problem with your motor, though. But the switch is definitely a cheap place to start. Um, I think this one was only like $20. $25 for the switch. I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like here. Okay, so here's our um, switch down here in question, and here's our replacement. So this was $25. I'll leave a link where I got this from. And for some odd reason, um, it comes without these buttons that you have on here. Actually, it would go like this. <clears throat> but you gotta pop your old uh, buttons off and put them on here but not a big deal but you can see how this looks <clears throat> the one over on the other side is just a small switch but this one has all the um, the tilt and lifting it up and down and all the different functions so this is what it looks like and you got to replace this whole piece. We'll go ahead and get to work on it here. Okay, so just to show you, you can hear an audible click also when it goes back, and you, you hear nothing when you go this way with it. <clears throat> so, um, all we're going to have to do is really pretty simple. You're going to need a tool, uh, preferably, get you. A plastic tool you can pretty much get these in any parts store anywhere because if you're using a screwdriver you may gouge your plastic and mess it up and that's the first thing you're gonna see when you get in the vehicle so we're gonna just find a spot to get under here and hopefully it'll pop out without breaking anything now you can see Looks like we may have a clip broken on this other side here. But anyways, now we're just gonna get in here to this switch and we're just gonna press down right here. Okay, so just give that a push down and it should. Maybe easier to do by hand. It's definitely on there. You wanna kinda resist the urge to pull on your wires. Okay, so with this off, the next thing we're gonna do is take our little tool and try to pop our little buttons off here without breaking them. So we got that in. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. And we just got this one here. Now we'll remove this uh, once we get this piece off because you can see how it's inset. Uh, this is pretty easy. You can probably do these with your thumbnails. You can see the, the little tabs there, but you just start working at one end probably start at this end flip it over and just kind of start working it up little by little we don't want to <clears throat> we definitely don't want to break these probably like get one in start it up a little bit and then get something to hold it from behind here might actually take take a minute because I kind of need to hold these out while I'm pulling up so I may have to like get get a few of these and kind of like hold these open while I'm lifting up on it because otherwise it's gonna snap right back down again 
So I got those kind of sitting in there like that. I'm going to try that and just kind of lift up on it gently. Okay, easier mess method I found here was like lifting up on these tabs while pushing on these buttons from this side. And then I'm going to flip it over and just do the same exact thing. Okay, so we got that free. And we'll just slip our new one back on. We need to also get this little button off of here. Okay, that one popped off there easily. I was more worried about breaking this one than the other ones, but it popped off there without any trouble. Okay, we got the new one. I'm going to try to go ahead and put that button back on. And we're just going to very easily just snap it right back on there. See, this is the only clip broken down here on this end. Because I'm sure you could find another one of these. if, But uh, it was holding plenty good with just these here. So now we'll just snap our switches on. All right. Okay, so all we got to do is just reconnect this very easy. Snap this right. Gotta push that in back there. Okay, now we can go ahead and try this out and make sure that it is working. And it's not a bad idea to keep a little bit of grease on your slides and stuff to keep everything working nice and smooth. Seems to be moving pretty good. Okay, I put a little white lithium on my slide just to kind of get them working real smooth here. Like I said, um, if yours is doing something similar, then more than likely it's going to be the switch. You definitely don't want to jump to the conclusion of it being the motor under here. Now, it's got several different ones, but one in particular that moves the seat forward and back and uh, that one's like $150 I think last time I looked so I'm very happy that the motor is working and that it was just only the switch okay so that's going to do it on this video on replacing this multi-seat switch over here on this 2011 Ford Explorer I hope you found the video helpful if you did please give it a thumbs up Please leave a comment below if you'd like to do so. As always, I invite you to subscribe, and I thank you for watching.